All right, welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Scandinavia EU4. We're back. So, as you guys know, I was building up my army again because it's just fun to build up an army. And we have some queens declaring war and some royal marriages. Hodenstein wants a royal marriages? Of course, Hodenstein. You guys know, not from you. Um, but yeah, Hodenstein wanted a royal marriage, so we gave him a royal marriage. So that much means our diplomatic increase is starting to really help us out. That means, what do I need before I can annex these guys? So your vassal needs to have at least 190 opinion of you. You may only annex a nation which one has been your vassal for at least 10 years, during which time you have not peacefully annexed some other vassal. Two, and with whom you have a relationship of more than 90 or an effect of certain... Oh, wow. So I cannot... Okay, so I cannot annex Hodenstein until that point. Until 1810. So, guys, I'm sorry, we're just not going to be able to do it. And we are rapidly checking up merchantilism or the or the diplomatic power. Like, we are rapidly going there. We are, like, six years ahead of everyone in terms of that. But we're about the same in terms of everyone else. So, it kind of balances itself out. Oh, excuse me. Uh, we can also manage that. So, I'm going to look at all these. Make a core here. Yeah. Sometimes you do need to go to this overall screen just to check on everything because sometimes you don't even know what's happening. Over here, it seems like our money's going pretty strong. I think most of our... Where's our most of our money coming from? Taxation! Yeah! Tobacco is being made in that new province and our army of 19 is strong again. Actually, it's now an army of 20. Wow, that army's pretty big. And that's going to be our new good relations. And Scandinavia, we've increased our relationship with these guys by a ton. That's good, because now they won't hate us as much, which is a good thing. Um, now we're going to look at, who else should we look at to improve our relationship with? England still loves us, so we don't have to improve relationship with them. Um, <laughs> we only we only important center of trade right there, and we're only the important center of trade right there. Since I, I don't think the natives are going to attack me there, so I'm pretty sure we're going to be fine. Over here, we're, we're protecting that trade so that we can still gain power, and yeah. Everything's looking up for our Queen of the Scandinavians, Christina the First. Uh, not that bad of a leader, actually. Um, cause daughter though, or son, or whoever it is, is a really terrible guy. Um, yearly inflation, by the way, is is gone now, so that's good. Wilson, well, my king has entered the coalition. Really, Burgundy? What did I do to you? Like, sometimes I don't get why these people go into a coalition against me because I didn't do anything. And I'm going to kick out my re year reduction of that because I don't really need him. Production efficiency, let's get this guy. Because that I think that would be a better modifier overall. Actually, it just cost me a lot more than I expected. But, um, national tax modifier plus 15. He'll be dead in a couple days, so that'll be good. But it's actually a plus two skill, so that means we're actually getting plus two more uh, administrative tech, which is pretty nice. We need more administrative tech, so I don't know. It would not be that bad. A traveling, a traveling minstrel, uh, gain the skill two artists and stock damage our colony. What? Yeah, you guys seem to be really, really hyper, so I'm gonna kill you. There we go. And that ended that problem. <laughs> oh, gosh. Such a terrible thing I do. I feel... You know, guys, if you guys think I enjoy it, I do not. I really don't enjoy the fact that, that I have to keep killing these guys to get them to behave. And the Molly all right next to us. Good. So this is the Molly. So these are the second rich people in the game. Yeah, but anyways, like I was saying, just so I can finish this slot before I forget, yes, I do not like killing these people. It makes me feel very bad every time I do it. And the Huron are actually the richest right now. Well, I have instant gratitude, and I'm actually the second richest person in the game right now. Wow. Okay, so the Huron and the Katibom. Katibom is the Sultanate in Africa. I can see them. They're right over there. So these are the second guys, but they're also Islamic, so... Yeah. 
that's probably not gonna happen so you can invest in an idea uh, not gonna go administrative we're not gonna go administrative let's see you have two uh, yeah I'm not gonna go administrative so yeah and it seems like the British have colonized have finally started colonizing over here but they kinda came a little bit too late because I already have most of this coast I mean look at that Britain's just almost completely out of it so that kinda stinks but we're gonna go send our army up here because I think it's time to go visit our friends again of uh, the Huron uh, and you know have some good old-fashioned conversation with them and now we got new do we have a new army yet uh, the Latin Keko infantry or yeah I think we do uh, demigod and then Latin Keko hmm let me go back one second. Latin could go. Yeah. Okay, so I guess we could only upgrade our cannons. So let's go to religion. Send these to. Oh gosh, I want this converted so badly. Okay? I want this province converted so badly. Because this has been the only place we've had Russians in our in our country. It's still the only place, and I still hate it for it. Oh gosh, and let me just give it a second so that it can calculate the list. Seems like they're not gonna revolt against me, which is good. Okay, and you guys are doing pretty good right now, so I don't have to do any of you guys. Um, yeah, we're gonna move our army up to there. I guess we're gonna go go back to World Huron just for some gold. Because they make a lot of gold. And it'd be pretty nice to have some of that gold. Military access for my lease. Not necessarily useful. Good to be honest. You won the Battle of Motank. Yeah, it seems like yeah, the natives are, are either, I don't know what they're doing, but they're trying to attack, which is kind of sad, and you guys have no militaristic alliances, again, but do you have a tree still? No, we do not have a tree, so I could just instantly declare war on you. I don't even have to worry about the consequences. Unless, by chance, the Cherokee are going to join in on this war. Nope, they don't join in on this war either, so I can just casually go to war with everyone without having much difficulty. And I'm going to destroy this army before I do anything, so that I make sure that they're all dead. Most of their main army is. I mean, even with half half amount of supporting these guys, they aren't really doing that well. There we go. And now they're fleeing. And I'm just going to attach some sieges and just let them flee. So I'm going to see what they can gather up to try to fight me. And the siege is over with. Uh, I am going to keep my men right near each other. I'm going to slow down time just a little bit. And yeah, I mean, this is, this is quite honestly, still to this day, pretty easy to do. And I feel really quite bad for them because they can't really stop me at any point in this entire thing. <sighs> and they all died. Okay, now we can just fast forward a little bit. I don't think, yeah, not seven men will be able to defeat 15 men pretty easily. Yeah. Colonial Ventures, invest in a naval force. Uh, don't really need diplomatic technology. Uh, militaristic cost? I think I could do that one. That'd be pretty good. Okay. Civil War! Oh no, Nepal! What happened to Nepal? I think it got absorbed by Tibet. Holy shit, what's happening with Tibet? What's happening with China? I don't want to know. What's happening with A lot of things have... What? Okay, a lot of things have changed. Like, a lot of things have changed. I'm just going to let them all change, and I'm just going to keep taking over these lands. So, yeah, this is over. Let's go to Mohawk. Let's go to Mohawk. And we have two armies moving in from both sides. And that siege is over with. Let's move right here. Got new technology, level 13, plantations, oh yes, plantations, um, if you guys don't know what plantations are, they basically are another, um, let's see, plantations, sugar, coffee, co cotton, tobacco, they basically are another colony, okay, like, literally no joke, these things will produce crazily amounts, let me just see, I need to find out where, which colonies can, can produce them, need buildings, uh, fire arts, emissary, fine arts, academy, don't really need that, uh, plantations, not enough, what, hmm, oh, I think I need, oh, I need, I see what I need, 
I need some Diplo power. Let's see. So they're right there. Oh, I need some administrative power. So let's see. Are they going after my men? Let's see. Keshuwa. No, they're going Keshuwa. So I guess they're going to go try to do an attack on my people. I think that's what they're trying to do. I don't... Mm, that may be just a little bit too much. A peace offer from the Huron. So they're willing to do peace now. So, what I'm going to do is see if they'll accept my peace. Which is, I want all their gold. Just all of it. You give me all your gold. All of it. Just, I want all of it. Just, yep, yep. Just keep giving me it all. Yep. <laughs> Okay, and give me, like, oh gosh, they'll give me a lot for this. Okay, let's do that. Hmm. Actually, it'd make more sense to go Mohawk and then Okate. And I bet you guys are wondering, why would it make more sense to go Okate? Because, um, we're going to be more, like, centralized over here for right now. We're not going to be moving into this area for a little bit, so it's more sensible to move, like, over here. So, that's my main thinking for that. So, we're just going to fight them until they accept that deal. It's not going to take them too long, I mean. They are natives, and I'm going to have to go send my army back here to go fight against them, because they're obviously going to go attack some of my colonies, which I don't like. Okay, group them up right here. Yeah. They want to fight me, so they, they're on the warpath. Let's go fight! Yeah! Oh, they instantly conquered back to... Wow, that's a really... Either that's a Native American thing, or they had, I had not that many soldiers. So let's go fight them for real. Let's go kick, kick them out. Let's go kick them, and... Yep, keep fighting them. Let's keep battering them down. And now we're about even strength, and... I guess I'm moving to Huron. Go destroy them in the capital. Seems like they're moving. They chose wisely. And then we caught them. Yes! And the peace offer from them is pretty extreme. We we'll just destroy the rest of these guys. Go right here. Uh, we invest in that. And just keep chasing them. Boy, and it seems like they're making a stand in Ontario. Oh no, this is not gonna end well. Yeah. Alright. I think we've I think we've beaten them enough to where I think they'll accept my deal. Oh wait, no, we don't have Mohawk going big more, dang it. <laughs> now we're gonna have to go conquer back Mohawk for a quick second. And we just destroy there we go. Now they're all dead. Go right here. Let's see. Just detach a siege. And then we're going to move right here. Move right there, and yeah, we're sieging down that pretty quickly. You can siege. Go right there. And we're gonna go squash this little thousand army. The siege is finally over with. And yeah, now we got the army divided, so they won't be able to do anything. We'll send these guys over here. And now you guys will have to accept our deal, because you guys are basically dead. Okay, all your money. All of it. All of the money! Right. You will go into probably bankrupt for this, but it will be worth it, trust me. Okay? You guys give me all the money? Well, good. And there we go. Another colonial army bites the dust. Gonna get cores, gonna get cores, and this is really easy to core these places. And now we got some more land inside our Empire of Scandinavia that's... I guess slowly becoming the original American 13 colonies. Gosh, that's really weird. <laughs> and apparently your troops are in foreign territory. Well, yeah, no duh, I just fought a war. Okay, and yeah. Okay, let's continue on, everyone. The war is now over with, and now we can just be relaxing, and they enter the military. <laughs> that's not a good idea, guys. I'm just, that's really stupid, guys. You guys just enter the military coalition against me. You don't want to fight me more. I'm being completely blunt. Okay. Why is administrative power not increasing? Well, I guess I have to wait a little bit. Let's increase by... There we go. So, plantation, guys. Where should we build our plantation? We can build it in the south. Maybe. Um, I have to get somewhere as 
high, high income. Uh, how much does it cost me, by the way? Just so I remember. 416. Well, we have tons of gold for this. Let's do that. And apparently I can't build another one. Oh, gosh, dang it. <laughs> and I'm marching local defensiveness. I think we should build one in the new places. Uh, how much does this cost me? A 416. Uh, we could build one in here. And do we have a level 2 in almost every place we have? Not right here. You're the only place that does not have a level 2. Shame on you. And armories. Well, we can spend a lot. Armories, local recruitment time, manpower increase. Now let's get that. Let's start increasing that a little bit. There we go. And, yeah, we have increased our country by a lot. And Great Britain, France, and all these guys have... Oh, another damage counter, commentary. Yeah, for some modifier. This does not last, so I'll get this one. Oh, no. Stability drop. That's the most important thing that was lost during this. I'll get this right here. And apparently our colony was damaged. Does that mean it was killed? No, it wasn't, so... Send our army to go up there and go destroy them. I'm sorry. I didn't want to do this. It's it's always Yeah. The names are uprising here, so. There we go. They're all dead now. And let's see. We're still doing a fabulous job in the colonization project. And we are looking really, really good. Back over here in our country. Oh gosh, we <laughs> Sweden is prop oh Scandinavia has never been better. We have two thousand in the bank right now. We can build even more stuff. Where the heck is a level two? Oh. In our main country we also had a level two not there. Wow. That's kinda sad. Oh, right there too. Yeah, let's finish out the level twos. And road network. Oh gosh, we need this. Seriously, we do need this. Let's start, yeah, let's start building some road networks here, because we really do need to build some road networks. Okay, let's get back to this, and there's some, some rebellions in inner German land. An army right there ready to deal with it. And there we go. Our relations with our vassal is now at 200%. So that means... When the time comes of 1610, we'll be easily able to integrate these guys into our fold. That will be nice. I'm really... <laughs> King Cornwallis. Same dynasty, Carmelo. You see, if a Cornwallis dies, guys, I could potentially inherit the entire England, England throne if I were to get a world match with them, but I'm, I'm really not going to. Like, I'm not going to get a world match with those guys. It's just not going to work. I just know it's not going to work for those guys. Those guys are going to be like, nope. You guys can't do that, and I got no more maximum overextension. That means I should just be making moolah, and we're back inside this. And look at that. I, I'm loving, like, I'm loving how the colony is looking out. Colonies are now looking pretty good. Got another self-sustaining colony down there in Florida. That's good. Get them right there. And let's finish out the rest of this little part right here. Actually, we should probably get these two places right here because, I mean, it could kind of make sense if, if like, Portugal or anyone got this lower part of, of uh, Florida. But it would make no sense for somebody to have these parts. And I'm not sure if... If due to them being connected to water, they could actually do that. So, um, let me see. Let me see. Is there any like indication to tell me if they are going to be? No, there's no indication they'd be on land. So this would be. Yeah, let's just do it. And this one should be pretty easy because there's only 500 natives. Stability drop. Oh, some suspicious fools even suggest our country is leading divine favor. My queen, oh, is losing confidence in our, in our leading government. Oh, gosh, no. What the heck just happened? One of our... Ugh, so our heir just died. And so now Queen Ectoria, the worst one I ever... The worst queen we're ever going to have, 
has taken power. Gosh, what happened to our last leader? I don't even know. He just... She just bit the bucket without even telling anyone. Oh, gosh, that's... That's not good, guys. That's not good. Oh, man. We got Senate of Trade, Civil Wars. Oh, gosh. I, I hope that does not happen to us. I'm, I'm glad... Uh, uh, the good thing about this is that I'm glad our succession was safe. There was no re major rebellions or anything like that. And France, holy shoot, you guys are starting to become major, major colonizational threats. In fact, they're now officially in this... No, they're still... <laughs> They're still in the Chesapeake area's trade node, but I own this trade node by a lot. Yeah, you guys aren't gonna rip that from me. I pretty much own this trade node's power. Uh, and, oh, and this lower part is actually a part of the Caribbean. It's kind of cool. Uh, and then no one's gonna, I guess no one's gonna ever challenge me in the Hudson Bay, everyone. I'm going to own the Hudson Bay forever. <laughs> Just because no one else wants it. <laughs> okay, so now that we got a good colonizational. We got a good colony like uh, competition going now with uh, the French. Hmm, that's going to be pretty dang interesting. So, what that means is we should start focusing in on some stuff. Should we think about maybe we should move some colonies over there? Or uh, see, I could, I could probably no, they can't get to this one. So I could probably get to that one, but should we, we should probably colonize one of these. No, but they're not really worth that much. But it'd look more right if we had this one. I mean, they could have, they could honestly have Canada's upper parts, but I could have Canada's lower parts. So yeah, let's get this one right here. That way, just to make sure that we look nice in terms of borders. We have like, we own all this. Yeah. And that way we also own the rest of here, which makes this a very strong position. And makes New St. James have a really good stuff. And we got a new guy, a new Carl. Yes, we have another Carl to the throne. So what's his name, Carl Ribbing? Oh, he should be like Carl Ribbing the seventh. What happened to the long line of ribbings? I don't know. Anyways, guys, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.